In this short movie, we'll look at a downcomer in operation. Here we see a Jameson cell, and now the downcomer is highlighted. New feed and air enter at the top of the cell, the frost product discharges into a launder, and the tailings leave at the bottom. Note the wash water distributor trays located above the froth layer. We'll take a close look now at what's going on in the downcomer. New feed enters in the form of a high speed jet and mixes with air drawn in through a side branch. As we go downwards, we see the liquid jet in the centre plunging into a bed of dense foam in the downcomer. A zone of vigorously mixed fluid develops and it is here that the small bubbles are made. Now we see the top of a downcomer in action. The liquid jet is plunging into the dense foam and training air from the surroundings. The air is dispersed into fine bubbles by the high shear layer around the jet. The aerated mixture travels down into the flotation cell where the bubbles disengage and rise to form a froth. Wash water is flowing onto the froth which is about 300 millimetres deep. The feed liquid now contains coal particles and you can see a zone of vigorous mixing in the downcomer. It's in this mixing zone that fine bubbles are created and simultaneously are brought into contact with the floatable particles. The, the bubbles, which are coated with coal particles, separate from the liquid in the bottom of the cell and rise to form a froth layer. Wash water is applied to reduce the ash content. The frost product flows over the lip of the cell into a launder. We've seen now that the downcomer is a vital part of the Jameson cell. That's where air is drawn into the feed and dispersed into fine bubbles. The particles in the feed are collected by the bubbles and transported into the froth layer and out of the cell. The high efficiency of the Jameson cell is due to the high capture rates in the downcomer.